Hey, what's happening, man? It's your boy Dion checking in. Welcome to the buffet. One thing about it, two things for sure you can get good conversation and good motivation. So I ask y'all this how important the offense? Because I, I don't know how we didn't cover this last couple of episodes, but how important do y'all feel love language is? Love? <laughs> so, so I think I might be able to speak on this one. I might, I might have some viewpoints on this one. I don't believe in I don't believe in love languages. Um, I think I think a lot of I think a lot of. Ooh, I hope I don't upset nobody with what I'm about to say, but I think a lot of things like love languages or or um, have y'all ever heard of angel numbers like like three 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 and what like it's. A, it's <laughs> Angel numbers, love languages. I mean, uh, I don't believe in zodiac signs. I don't believe none of that stuff. Like that junk is baloney to me. Like I don't believe that nobody's personality is secluded to this zodiac sign, or some, or yeah. how somebody receives love is secluded to this category of love languages. I don't believe none of that. Like, dog, you can be loved. However, I mean, there might be a way that you want to be loved, but like, you you probably want somebody up under you all the time, and that's. But yeah. that's that's that category of love language. But like you can you can receive love in all the different forms and fashions. And as long as you know that, you know, what I'm saying it's love and you receive that like you don't like I, I, I just don't believe it. I think I think it's just something that somebody made up so that when they get into a relationship, they can have something a certain way a majority of the time. You know, like that's that's kind of how I look at it, you know, but that's just me. I could be a thousand percent wrong. Love languages and all that other stuff could be, you know, a thousand percent real and true, and you know, all of that. But that's how I look at. It. I don't, I don't believe in none of that stuff. You know, for somebody who doesn't believe in zodiac signs, you act just like a Gemini, bro. Like you, you, it, so, you are the <laughs> epitome. Not, 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 I'm not even gonna say epitome. You are the episode. <laughs> you are the epitome of a Gemini, and bro. I can't stand that because I feel like everybody exudes every characteristic of every zodiac sign. Now, which one you exude more? I, you know, like it may be a coincidence that I'm more like a Gemini than any of the other zodiac signs. You feel me? Like I, and I'm not about to sit here and call them off because again, since I don't believe in them, I don't study them. But like. I, I remember one day I sat down and I read a horoscope. This is back when newspapers was still a thing. But I was sitting there reading a horoscope and I was looking at all these zodiac signs and I'm reading the script. Like today, uh, the Aries are going to yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, damn, that's me. And then I went down and today the Virgos are going to blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, I be feeling like that too. And then I went down to the next one and the next one. And I'm like, yo, all of these jokes is about me. What are you talking about? I'm not just a Gemini. I'm a day. I got 12 zodiacs. I just read myself in 12 different zodiac signs. That was the day I started not believing in them jumps. And to this day, like when people start talking about, oh yeah, I'm a cancer and I and I this, that, and the third. Well, five minutes ago, you was happy as hell, and right now you sad as ain't that real Gemini-ish? You know what I'm saying? Like I, I swear, like them jumps, them jumps intertwine. Like that, them things is not real. Some man back in the 1700s sat down and started taking people's birthdays and was like, oh, my girlfriend does this and she was born on this day. Let me write this down. That's the really exciting. <laughs> my mom, hey, my mom feels like this and she and she was born in January. So let me go ahead and write this down. This is what that zodiac sign is. I promise you mm -hmm. gotta be. Got it. Hey, it didn't got to the point to where females started conversations off like, what's your sign? Like, bro, yeah. Yeah. Man. I agree with you, bro. I don't own this. I don't, me personally, I don't like categories. You know what I'm saying? I don't like being put in a category and I don't like to put somebody else in a category because it's like you you do so many different personality traits. You like be yourself. Like, but it's my job to understand how you typically like to receive love. Like genuinely, you know, how you like to receive love. But at the same time, I think it's a catch 22 type thing, right? So I got to understand how she likes to receive love. Like she might want to be up under me all the time. That's just her thing. That's how she do but at the same time, she has to understand how I give love. Cause that might not be my thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? It might not be my thing. Like, I might be the person that grew up by myself, all this shit. And I, and I just don't like all that lovey dovey shit, bro. I ain't see that shit in my family. Damn, so yeah, so, somebody put me on to something like that. When we took a test or whatever, and they gave us like, all right, well, your number is like five. So my number was five. So it was what? I, it was five. Oh, hey, it was what? Hey, look, hey, look, man. Oh, so, that's, that's his blood number. I ain't even peeped. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
MVP. Absolutely. No, he, he called me slip the first time. No, but like, <laughs> I will say this. I will say this. Those tests, I'm not going to say they were right, but it did kind of give me, how can I say this nice? <laughs> I'm not going to say they were a thousand percent right, but they weren't a thousand percent wrong either. Like, it, there's, you can pick up tips from everywhere. So I'll I, I go into my spiel about um, love languages. Like, I studied them because over time, I realized that I, all because I was providing didn't mean I was a good boyfriend or a good lover. You know, all because you can sit here and give a person this, 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 and be there for them for these events. If those events don't necessarily appeal to them in a certain way, or that's not the main thing that they care about, then what are you doing? I think all that stuff, actually, whether it's horoscopes, whether it's love languages, whatever, I think they're good cheat codes that you can use along the way. It's just good to have in your back pocket. Like, I wouldn't necessarily completely ignore them, but at the same time, I wouldn't treat them as gospel either. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, well, according to page 37, you're going to do this. Well, you you like this. I'm like, no. But at the same time, it's going to be like, you know what? I've read about this, so I know how to read. It's, it's like, yo, I, kn- I know how to respond to certain things when I see it. And so that's dope. Um, I don't know, bro. When you're with that person long enough, you'll figure out, like, all right, how can I tailor? It's no different than a suit, bro. No different than a tux or something. Like, the same, that loving has to be tailor-made for her. Like, that approach, that everything has to be tailor-made for that person. And there's no book that can tell you how to love a specific person. Like, only her and life experiences with her will, will tell you that. You know what I'm saying? So, that's just my spiel. I learned about it so I can have conversations about it. And look so educated. I'm like, oh, you know about it. Yeah, dude. <laughs> what up, dog? <laughs> yeah, Dion, you got to finish what you were saying, bro. You, you experienced oh, it. Oh, what was I Yeah, man. You cut out. Oh, oh. He, he was <laughs> saying that, you know what I'm saying, his, like, his girl may want to be up under him, but he don't know that side of love because his family ain't on that lovey dovey shit. That's, I think that's where you last left so my off. Point, yeah, so my point is, it's like, you know, regardless of who it is, it's like you have to, it's, it's, a, it's a double-edged sword because you have to, um, you have to understand how that individual likes to receive love or you have to understand how that individual gives love. But at the same time, you have to, she has to understand how you give love and how you like to receive love. So it's, it's, it's a catch 22, man. So I can't just be like, okay, this is how she loves, she likes to be loved. So let me just do that. Cause that just might not be my personality. You know what I mean? So I got to understand how she likes to really see love, but I also have to understand how I like to give love. So I think, you know, I don't, I don't like Zodiac signs because I think at this point, man, people just be trying to, they just be trying to find an excuse. They try to point the finger at this. Like you got it. This has to be that, you know what I mean? You're this type of person because you are this type, you know what I mean? Like it, it's, it's, it's gotta be a reason behind everything. I think people just go. Zodiac signs are excuses. That's exactly it's, what they it's, are. It's, it's, I mean, I, the word I was going to use my thing Yeah. Nah, forget what I was going to use the cop out. It's, it's an excuse. It's completely an excuse. It's like, when they when they peep how you acting right now, it's like, what's your Zodiac sign? Oh, that's why. Like, no, nah, that's not why. why. It's just, I mean, shit, no. Nah. I mean, I'm acting like this because I'm mad. Like, that's why. <laughs> like, I'm a, you did, you my, past, my past my past might like, suggest that this is the type of individual that I am right now. I might be the product of everything that I've been through at this point. How about that? You know what I, I mean? Hate when somebody uses me being a Gemini to try to validate why I get mad. Like, like in a relationship, you know what I'm saying? They'd be like, oh, so you just having one of your Gemini spells. No, I'm not having a Gemini spell. You did something I didn't like, <laughs> and now I'm mad. Like, can you accept the fact that you did something I didn't like and stop trying to blame my birth month on me, be, me being upset? Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Just, okay, so, yeah, definitely a cop out. An excuse to cop out, you know what I'm saying? Don't do it. Just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whatever. I don't know. It's dumb to me. But yeah, next time I'm, 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 you can get you can get knowledge from anywhere, bro. You can get understanding from anywhere. So I, I don't shut the door on anything on a lot of situations because I, I feel like you can learn from a lot of different things. So yeah. um, I don't know about it being a hundred percent, you know, accurate and true and everything like that. Like I said, I don't like putting people in my category, but uh, I don't know. But I should live by different codes and that. Okay. I, I tend to look at all this stuff as it just uh some some of this stuff is complete BS. I I, I agree with that more. And uh and like yeah, I'm choosing violence today. Choose violence. 
Let's go. <laughs> it's complete BS. Now I, I have I have I have to start doing this though. But if you change it, if, you, if we change our perspective in some way, we add like a foundation to go off of, like the the four love language. If you practice all those, I mean, you good. Because I feel like those four things cover everything that we should be doing in a relationship anyway. And like, like I seen a meme where a girl was like, I, I don't, I don't want to be in a box where you give me just gifts. I want it all. <laughs> and I was like, that's dope because I feel like that's what we should be practicing. Like, I, I feel like if you go through uh, those four love ladies, I think it's four, or is it more? It's found that's about right. right. At this point, it's probably seven right now, bro. <laughs> you know, come look tomorrow to be ten. Yeah, yeah but, but if you go through all that, all those things, just practicing those throughout the week, I'm pretty sure you have a, a good relationship. You know, it's just it is what it is. Now, I have been said that I'm a hothead because I'm a an Aries, and I'm like. I'm, the, I'm I'm one of the chillest person you'll know. Just don't make me mad. That's when you probably gonna get the Aries. <laughs> but that's but that's everybody though. Like, don't make nobody mad. Like, don't make <laughs> stop be, stop making people mad just so you can see their bad side and then blame it on something. Absolutely. I think what what got not even I think what what fellas though if they if they do some wild stuff it's really just because they want to do some wild stuff they ain't, they, don't, they ain't really thinking about the consequences they even getting caught for real they just like yo I'm about to I'm about to be on some foolishness but yeah you like yo the whole I just wanted to see what you would do yo that junk that gets on my everlasting nerves bro like that mm-hmm. we, yo why wait time we could we could use this time we could instead of doing a case study on how I'm gonna respond to these random scenarios. We could have used that time to be more productive and build towards something better versus mm-hmm. putting me in these makeshift training environments that are real life situations. Makeshift training environment. Ooh. Yeah, that's really not cool. <laughs> like I, I agree with that, that a thousand percent. Like putting people in certain situations, putting people through certain situations just to see how they respond. Yo, that's not male or female, like not even being gender specific. Like that's just that's not a business because what's going to happen when a real life situation does pop off and they sit here thinking, all right, well, this is just a, this is just another case that is just another what if scenario and they don't take it serious. Then what? <laughs> you know, so it, it's, there's only so many times you can, you can play that. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I guess they just try to see who, who um, they're with. It's all about that security, that stability at the end of the day. Zay, this yeah, is, this is say, literally man. like, go ahead. <laughs> no, nah, you go ahead, Mike. You got it. Bruh, so my dad said the, the wisest thing that never made sense to me when I was a kid. I used to always catch him watching Animal Planet. And I'm like, Dad, why, why are you watching Animal Planet? He was like, son, if you can understand how nature works, you'll understand how people work as well. <laughs> I never cute. understood that, Joe. That's cute. So if you think about <laughs> it, lions, lions in the jungle especially. So in the jungle... These cats will fight to the death just to get a woman's attention or just to uh, mate with a woman or whatever. So, like, it's, it's some kind of, of thing in them that they have to see how far a man is willing to go for them or they got to see how much they're going to prove their worth for her before she says, all right, you're the one that I choose to mate with. I'm going to have your kids and things of that nature. So taking my, my animal planet <laughs> analogy... I, I I think I think women do the same thing as well. They 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 test and see how far a man's willing to go for them. Now whether it's perfect, like whether it's intentional or not, like they they'll go through different scenarios and see, like, all right, what is what is Ray Quante do in this situation? What does Day Jarvis do <laughs> in, in this situation? I think it all comes from where like we think in love, um, uh, think love comes from. Uh, I don't even know if that's the correct way to say it, but that's, I'm going to try to roll with it to make sense. So um, I know I get on IG from time to time and, you know, they they got something now where all of the social medias are like pretty much integrated. You know what I'm saying? TikTok is in IG. You know what I'm saying? Facebook is in IG. All those things are like intertwined. So like I've been seeing a lot of like little TikTok fads on Instagram or whatnot. And like there's this one, there's this one where like the audio is talking about like, how far, how far will you drive to like come see me or some junk? 
And I'm sitting there thinking like, uh, damn, like, why is why does that need to be a question? Like, why do you need to ask, why, like, why do I need to answer that question? Like, we already together, like, you know, you gotta test my love for you. So I and that's and that's from a woman's perspective, right? That's that that TikTok challenge is like a woman's thing. Like you don't see no man, uh, you don't see no dude doing that TikTok challenge. But like I sit here and think about like what what I when I think about with a woman and how much she loves me, I think about like damn if I ask you to do something that I appreciate, would you do it? Or if I ask you not to do something that I don't like, would you continue to do it? Like those are the type of things that I think about when I'm trying to figure out love. So like I guess that's just another I can't put it into that health versus wealth category, but it's just another way that we look at uh, I guess love and or look at topics in a different way. Like they they looking to find out like how far will you go for me or how much will you you know do for me or whatever. And then in, I guess in our heads we just like yo can we get can we get peace of mind you know what I'm saying can we get a nice quiet home or something like that. So like I guess it's two different concepts when it comes down to where we thinking about where we think love should come from. So yeah. It's an interesting perspective, man. Mm-hmm. Next topic, Mike. I don't know. Zay, Zay, looked, Zay was looking at the sky like he was, he was about to say something profound. They got something just, to I'm say. Just, Come on, I'm just, waiting for, I'm just waiting for it to buff it. He was at 35% when I glanced at him. And then I looked down again. He started smiling. That let me know it was at 73%. So I know he was processing. Y'all look here. <laughs> That's exactly what I was doing. I was processing what you were saying. <laughs> I know my brothers. <laughs> I was I was processing everything you were saying, man. But I I can I can see your point though, you know. At the, at the end of the day, that's just how women are, man. They want to test it. They they have the tests and everything you know, for you just to see me. How, how you're gonna how to react to certain things? Like I I I I tend to uh, really just understand where she's trying to come from. She want to hear those words. That's mm-hmm. what, at the end of the day. That's all she want to hear. She know you love, love her. You know she know everything about that. And maybe that comes from a place where she haven't heard you say something that's very secure for her in a while. And like that, she's not gonna tell you that because she wants you to automatically do it. For sure. and, and like, and that's why she probably get, get you to a- answer those questions. Like when when I get like crazy qu- questions like that from a woman, I try to put myself in her shoes because she's not she's not well. Some women are not going to just give you the answer to the test. They don't want to do that. They wanna they wanna feel. In, they don't want to feel secure about what they have within you. So they're going to be like, they're going to be like, they they might ask something as simple as, do you love me? And you got to be quick, careful about that answer. <laughs> because the way you answer it is the way is she, what her next move is going to be. She might be like, hey, well, you going to cook your own food from now on. Or forget your, forget sweeping this flow. You sweep it. You know, it, it just, you, the way you answer it or deliver it to her is going to be the way that she her next move is going to be. And, and delivery is an answer as well. Yeah. And so, I mean, some women just need to hear it, man. You got to just give it to her. Oh, yeah, face it to was, your face was squinted up, Deanna. Hey, you was thinking about yeah, yeah, thinking, bro. I'm, I'm saying think because I think it's a mixed bag, right? I think that that could be there is some validity in in everything you're saying right there. But at the same time, I think that I don't know. I think from my perspective, I can't understand it, right? And I, I can't make sense of it. So the only thing I can do is continue to be true to myself and continue to do the things that I know is beneficial to our relationship, right? So you might you, you're absolutely right in. Maybe she might need to hear those words and maybe, you know what I'm saying, you have been a little bit distant to where now you need to, you know, spend a little bit more time with her. But you never know where what the root cause of this question is coming from. So the only thing you can do is put the relationship or put put that at the forefront of your mind and make a decision, the best decision that you can based off of that information. Right. Because she, she'll never tell me where this where this question is coming from. She'll never tell me that. But 
with that being said, I can't sit here and worry about where's it coming from or why are you thinking like this? Because then I end up getting upset. Like, bro, you you really testing me? You really trying my love? You really trying this? So I can't I can't even I can't even bring myself to go down that path. So only thing I can do is what I can control, bro. Is you know what I'm saying? Show you that extra love. Show you that extra care. We just like they say, bro. Just kill you with kindness, man. You know what I'm saying? I think this is one of them situations. So. Cause you you never know, bro. Cause I could be doing everything right, and you still come with these questions. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm not saying that all women do that, but at this, at the end of the day, bro, I I try to be true to myself in every situation, bro. Cause I I can't sit here and be like, okay, this is where this is coming from. So I think that this is gonna happen. I think this is why she's doing that. Ain't no point, bro. Well, so I think beyond what needs to happen, and I get you on that. I understand a thousand percent what you're saying. I think what does need to happen in those situations where we can't like figure out where somebody's coming from with the question, we got to go back to the point that we made early on in this conversation when we talk about communicating, right? You got to figure out some type of way that you and your partner um, can communicate to maybe figure out where the the questions are coming from or where the feelings are coming from. Um, Because, you know, just like you said, then, well, I think both of y'all said it, I think we would all say it. they're not going to give you the answer to the test, right? Like, there's some type of, they're feeling some type of way and they start answering crazy questions. You don't know where they're coming from. You can sit there and be like, yo, what's wrong? Like, where's this coming from? And it's not, you're not going to get, you're not, you're either not going to get the answer you need or you're not going to get the answer. So you got to find out some type of way to get back to communicating and that potentially, you know, will be the solution to that. You know, just being able to talk it out and figure and, you know, understand, <laughs> understand their love language to figure out how you can get that, that information up out of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> love languages, man. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Don't don't keep it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, play, that playbook, bro. But yeah, I, we got to understand that, you know, first of all, we just got to be patient with a woman. You know, she, she's going to ask those questions. And I feel like sometimes she asks those questions because she's thinking long term with you. She don't want to put. She don't want to uh, push an answer on you at that point. She want to just get let you. I, I, I'm not the. I'm not now. I'm gonna just say this. I'm disclaimer. I'm not a woman perfect, per, perfectionist or whatever woman whisperer. But I just. I, I'm just. I, I. I'm in that part of my life where I just sit back and listen to my. You know, where I'm just trying to pay attention to what women are really trying to say to me. Because, you know, you know, just like Michael said, you know, I don't want to put myself in a cycle that keep on happening. And, you know, if, I could, if I'm not listening to what her needs are, and sometimes we'll be sitting here going down the rabbit hole thinking about what, what, you know, what this and what that is. No, just sit and pay attention to what she's saying to you. She's basically telling you the answer. Now, in this case, you know, we have those times where she don't say anything, but she's not talking. And like I said, in in this perspective, when she brings up those random questions, she probably thinking long term. Or she just needs to hear it at that point. Like, you, you never know. And it's not your... And like Beyonce said, it's not your, you're not in control of that or what she's thinking and everything. Everybody is human. We're going to have those, those conversations. That's what I said, that we have to, I think uh, Marcus said, it. you know, we just have to learn to handle the uh, communication, like have those tough conversations. So, and sometimes you got to be thinking, you got to just ask your own question. What you think about this? What you think about that? Oh, so learn how <laughs> you can learn how she thinks. So that in that point, when she when you learn the mind and how she thinks and moves, at that point, you know that gives you something that answers to the test now because now you know her. She because this is this is one thing I know about women. If they really interested in you, they're gonna try to learn you from head to toe. Everything about you, how you move, how you talk. How you talk to other people, how you talk to the girls on the street compared to her. It, it, they just got to find out everything about you. And at that point, at that point, it's like, uh, I don't want to say Stimson and Delilah, <laughs> but she know everything, all weaknesses and everything else at that point. And that, that's where 
we as men sometimes mess up because we don't take the time to get to know her. 